Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and I'm bringing you a Panland haul. The um, reason I'm doing a Panland haul so soon is just because I did go in there with all intentions of getting um, teacher's gifts together. So like cheap teacher's gifts that I could get together. So you know like for, well obviously for the teachers. <laughs> But you know what I mean? I wanted to set up like little hampers or little boxes or gift bags, see how reasonable they were in there and see what little kind of gifts they had in there. Home Bargains did have amazing stuff in there, but I thought I have a look in Panland because it tends to be cheaper. Rather than £1.49 for a candle, they'll have a panned candle and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just going to wait a little bit longer because there's nothing in there. They've just started clearing away the Father's Day stuff. A lot of that's gone down to 50p if you want to go down there and get that. Because um, not all of it has to be necessary for Father's Day. There could be even stocking fillers and stuff at Christmas. Um, I know, dare I say the word. Um, I think I've said it in the last video as well. I'm getting a bit carried away, actually. I'm just going to go on. So, the mug of the day. I thought I'd try it in a different voice. I'm like, mug of the day. Every day. Chins. Yeah, this is a Kath Kitson cup. I love Kath Kitson. Got a bit of a bone to pick with this cup, though. I love it's got little white spots on it. But this is how it's meant to look. Silver, pre-dishwasher, and it does say you can dishwash it. That was one dish and that dishwasher and that just come off white. But I did only get this for £3.50. The other, well no, this one was £7, full price, and then I got the other one in £3.50 for the sale. So I thought, well, do you know what? That'll be on my display. I won't use that one and I'll just use the one that washes off because I don't hand wash none of my mugs. So, I've got a tea, Pepsi. <laughs> Never mind. I know they're so bad in a teacup, but I wanted to keep fluent and vivid with the mug of the day and uh, fancy the Pepsi. What can I say? <laughs> in Panland, they've got loads of new home homeware stuff and it's really, really lovely. I mean, a couple of bits I have seen in there before, um, but they've got slight different colours and stuff. I will start off with this. I thought this was so nice. They do this. This is like a little plant pot. You can put your toothbrushes or something in it. It's like a little stone pot. It's quite like, obviously, the size of my hands, like kind of large, um, and it's grey inside, white on the outside. It says it's a plant pot, and it's got it's very like geo patterns. And I just thought for a pound, that is that is really cheap. That's really good. And I've got like little faux succulents and stuff that I've been sticking there. But I did actually think as well, you do get a bit of the residue like powder off of it. But I did even think like even if you want to put your toothbrushes in it or something in a bathroom, you know, I don't. I just thought that was really, really sweet. Or in the garden, that's just lovely. And I thought for a pound, that was really, really nice. You do get a lot of the chalky sort of residue on your hands, though. I don't know if it's where it's not long been painted. They've just come out of the box. But that was in the homeware department. But in the garden department, I found these. Anyone that sees the background, they know I'm not opposed to a bunny. I do love a bunny. And they had the cutest little stone bunnies in there. I don't know if you can see. It's sort of like being like that. Um... A pound, guys. Like, how cheap is that for a lovely little... And it's solid stone. I mean, that is heavy. I wanted the kids to hold that. But I just thought, how cute is that? I mean, if you went in TK Maxx or Home Bargains... Not Home Bargains. Home Sense for something like that. You'd pay about, well, six ninety nine, Roughly about the same sort of price I paid for the little bunnies. So, and considering that stone as well, I just thought they're so cheap. And you could, there's a couple of those. There's one that's sort of hiding down. And you could have them in the garden. I think I'm going to have them indoors. Maybe it's like a little doorstop in the dining room in here. Because it's like kind of heavy enough to hold the doors. So I got that. And I thought for a pound that was super cheap as well. I hope I don't bore you with getting the same stuff. But in my last Poundland haul, I managed to get the little tiny gold photo frames and the pictures inserts. I couldn't find the big gold ones. I wanted one big one to have with a couple of the little ones and they had them in there for a pound. So this one is 20 centimetres by 25 centimetres. So it can hold eight, 10 pictures, quite a large one. Um, and I got these again with the best is yet to come because I'm gonna change the best is yet to come in the small one, put that in the large one, um, and then just put the little leaf prints in the, the other smaller ones that I got. I think I've got, yeah, I've got four packs. I did put my regular photographs in two of them, little black and white photographs of my nan and granddad, and people have been saying, they look really expensive, where are those photo frames from? And they're only obviously from Panland for a pack or two. So, got one of those, and one of those. And I just think, there is a floral print in there, it's like pink and sort of like blush roses and stuff, and hydrangea is the pattern. And with a gold frame, very similar to what I'm seeing on some YouTubers, Decenio prints. How cheap is that though? That's amazing. So I got that. And with the gold theme, this was in the little, little like garden like party area. 
It's a little candle. It's like a little candle holder. And I thought, how cute is that? It's like a little hammered metal. But the candle inside is citronella. Now, I got this for indoors in my living room purely because the bees have decided to invade my living room and I'm, I don't want to be cruel and sort of spray them with the fly spray so I'm going to do this and hopefully when the windows are open because it's hot they won't want to come in because it's that they don't like so hopefully that'll work but they had, they had loads of I just got one because I thought I don't need a million citronella candles if there had been other scents I probably would have got them but I love the little hammer and once that's run out I can put little tea lights in it I like my rings and jewellery once I'm like taking it off for washing up or something so that was really good in there as well, they had these candles. I'm not sure if these are new, but they look pretty new because I've not seen them in there. But how cute are these candles? Now, to be honest, this is Prosecco Fizz. It comes with like a little copper lid. It's on it. These smell lovely, like really, really nice. And to be honest, they would probably be really nice as a little teacher's gift with some sweets and stuff inside or a mug for 99, well, a pound. That's so cheap. And I just thought they're lovely. And they say they're fruity and crisp. It's 32 hours burn time. And it, it really is so pretty. It probably doesn't look in, it, the, how metallic it looks, it looks quite dear, like quite expensive. It's only a pound. I think I've had quite a good little like, guy, like good little collector's bits of like, that makes no sense whatsoever. A little collector's bits, like collectors don't go in Poundland. No, I've got a good little collection today of homeware. Like, how cheap is all of that? I mean, you can easily imagine all of these sort of little things in HomeSense or TK Maxx. 100%. Percent. <laughs> 100 percent you know they will be. They are so cheap. Let me just have a drink and just shut up with my tea. I'm going to... Oh, honestly, I'm just so exhausted. We went to the zoo on Sunday. That was an all-day thing. Watched Toy Story cinemas on the Saturday and we went to the park beforehand for the kids to play football. So and they done gymnastics in the morning as well. So I'm literally been catching up on washing all day yesterday. My house was absolutely a bomb site and I just haven't recovered from it, especially with this heat. I'm just not recovered. Not recovered at all. So <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm coming across a bit weird, it's because I'm hot. I also got in there, I've seen a lot of these on the YouTube holes. How cute are these little plant holders? They are so sweet. I mean, I'm going to try and get like a very small hanging succulent because a lot of them are larger pots already. So if I can get a larger hanging, a uh, smaller hanging succulent, I will. And that will go in my little toilet upstairs. I mean, it'd probably go, you can hang them off your dresser and things like underneath and put the flowers. That, they're just lovely. Really, really nice. I did actually pull up, oh, because I started Instagram again. Been on Instagram again. Um... Not doing it about family, it literally purely is home, and then hopefully I just won't get addicted to it again. <laughs> I feel the need to come off. Um, but it's going okay, but I did put a picture up of a corner in my dining room, and I've got a radiator cover, and I've got a nice cabinet above it, but I'm getting a bit sick of the radiator cover, so I'm thinking if I hung a few of these from the cabinet, put some like trailing plants, it was a lady that suggested that to me, I'm not going to take full warranty for the... Warranty? Warranty is something that you get if you buy something. Credit, credit. I'm not gonna take credit for that because I was suggested that by a lovely lady that watches my videos as well, called Leah. Um, I think that's her name, but that's her Instagram name. So yeah, she suggested those. So I'm gonna have a little look on Amazon. She said suggested having a look on Amazon for the hanging plants, so hopefully I'll get some in smaller pots, but how good are they for like a pound? And they had them in mustard jello as well. So I was like, hmm. I did go in there trying to get the mugs, it was like, Tired AF and like the dip coloured mugs, they have none in my store. But like I said before, my panland is quite rubbish. I say that I've had quite a good touch today. Um, also, looking, scowling, is there any more homeware? No, there's not. Who else has seen the paper plates and cups in Panland and they're the absolute image of the Emma Bridgewater dot print? They look like Emma Bridgewater. I've actually got the paper plate versions of the real Emma Bridgewater ones and they are no different. I'm telling you now, no different. And you literally get a pack of 20 and 20 cups. And I'm not being funny. If I put them out with my Emma Bridgewater dotty teapot and stuff at a, like a party and have like cake and stuff and put it on these, no one would ever know that they wasn't Emma Bridgewater. Like honestly, they are the, the, exact, the exact same. It's, it's just the packaging is different. Packaging is just cheaper where it's obviously from the pound shop. But I just thought for little parties and stuff, these are kind of handy to always have. 
and to have like a really nice print. Normally you're paying a pound for 20, like if they're plain white or something, but look, they're just so, so pretty and I just thought, they don't look ugly. Do you know what I mean? When you have some paper stuff and they've got like silver, party time. They've got some really good stuff in Panland at the moment. They've got like for five pound, you get a party pack and it has plates, you know, like hats, foldable hats and stuff. It's five pound, but there's loads of stuff and it all looks Avengers. So it's like, like the Captain America shield and it's not, but it looks it. So if you was having like a boys party, that would be amazing for that. Um, I'm going on to this. This is the only beauty thing that I bought. Um, but basically my hair, as you can see, I've got it straight today. I'm getting that humid frizz. It's sort of like, it doesn't matter what I'm doing to it. It's just not going. And I'm, no, no, it's, I'm losing hair. It's like straw at the minute. And there's a Pantene. This is really cheap to be in the pan shop. These are like six, seven quid in shops normally, the serums, especially the Pantene ones. Or even if it's in the sale, it's probably about four pound. Um, but Pantene Expert Collection, and it's the age to five one, so it gives you like younger looking hair. And it's a serum. It says use it according to the leaflet. It doesn't have a leaflet. I'll take that off. I'm going to put some in my hand. Oh, it's, it squirts out quite far. Oh, it's not a serum. It's a thickening treatment. I don't know why. Please tell me if anyone else thought that was a serum. Like, it's really slow in the bottle as well. Let's try it. Let's try it. We'll see what happens. I'm probably in... Yeah, it's just... Yeah, my hair's just stuck together now. Amazing, and I've done it today. I have to rewash it tonight, which is very annoying. But, <laughs> well, I thought that was a serum. It's not, but apparently it's gonna give me thick hair, so hopefully it'll stop it falling out. And also, while I was in there, I recommended um, on Home Bargains Hall the charcoal peel-off things. Do not use them. Do not use them. If you've used them and they work well for you already, then go for it. My skin came off with it i had a huge scab i've still got a little one on my nose i it took the skin off i come out in huge spots it literally did not agree with my skin whatsoever it's only like nine p but i would really avoid that especially if you had irritated skin or sensitive skin i was crying while i was peeling it off like honestly it was so painful i would not recommend that at all it wasn't coming off in one whole strip it was just coming off in little flakes it just it just wasn't working at all Honestly, <laughs> I should have filmed it because it was horrendous. I could have put that up and it would have probably been in the top 50 like horror films or something. It was awful. So I got these. They're like little um, exfoliating scrub dub sets. This is free for a pound. This is all for legs and stuff, which is quite good to get my fake tan and stuff off. But you've got the little pads. So with my facial cleanser, it was sort of exfoliate but gently without knocking off the scabs and stuff because my skin has just been really sensitive since I used that. So a pack of three. It's made from hemp as well, so that's good. And it's sponge on the back side as well, so you can obviously... Oh, and you've got little finger spaces, so you can hold them nicely, put them in. And you get packs like that. I think the actual bottom one's a mint. Oh, it's a mint, the bottom one. The bottom one's an actual mint. So they're really, really good as well. Also, while I was in there, a lady um, on, on here wrote a lovely comment, and she basically said, head over to my channel and have a little look. So I had a little browse, and I noticed that she got these. Now, I'm always buying the unstoppable scent boosters to put in my washing, because I'm a bit of a sucker for like nice scents in, the, in clothing. I just think that just always smells nice, you know? Makes the hair smell nice. It was so nice. Now, they're kind of like little. They're not like the actual beads. They're more like bath salts. They're more like bath salts. Um, she didn't open them to show, just literally just checked. But she said these are really good. So I'm going to try these. Only for pounds, you get like a large pot of it. 375 grams. That's really, really full up and all. So I'm going to use that and see what it's like. And that's really, really fresh. I had a pink one as well. That's one she bought. I thought I'd try that one because I, I like quite natural linen-y smelly things. Um, also, while I was in there, I use... I'm going to forget what the name of it is now. But you'll know what I mean. It looks like this. It's Airwick... Fusions or so I don't know what it is, but I always get the uh, thingy in patchouli. It's the white one, and I love the smell of it. But for only a pound, lemon, verbena, and cucumber room fragrance. This one's... Yeah, I'm getting nothing. <laughs> oh, interesting. It smells of nothing. <laughs> Let's try. Oh, now I'm getting it. Maybe I'm not well, and it's my sinuses. Maybe it's because I had no skin left on my nose. <laughs> oh no, that smells lovely. Oh, I can really smell it. Maybe the mist sort of goes up and it just drops down because it's like an air, isn't it, rather than a wet spray because it's a dry spray. And it's long-lasting. 
yeah, that's lovely for any pound. That's really good. I was really naughty when I was in the pan shop and I picked up myself one of these. Trim pigs. I tell you what, I've not tried, I'm gonna have a try now. If anyone doesn't like people eating on the screen, I'll turn off now. So I'm not gonna poo. I'm trying to break the bar. Tiny, tiny piece. Oh, I have. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm on contraception, I would swear I was pregnant. Because I'm craving white chocolate like no one, like there's no tomorrow. I am craving white chocolate severely. Every time my husband goes, I'm not going to get some white chocolate. I really want white chocolate. So that whole bar, 180 grams, was a pound. And that's going to do me for about an hour. <laughs> and then I'm probably going to want more. But, amazing. Only pound. They do fruit ones in there and honeycomb and stuff now. I remember these sort of taking off at Christmas. And now they're like, always out. Amazing. So I'm going to, that is so nice. I will actually make a little cup of tea. Or a real cup of tea, not a Pepsi tea. To have with that. Also, there's a lady on here, and she started saying I'm like Little Miss Sunshine. Probably a bit boring today, but he's took it out of me. But she kept calling me Little Miss Sunshine. And I always say that my children, were like, they're like the three bears. So it's really weird, because my son, I said to him, go and pick a toy or a book in here. You know, Sonny Pandra sort of don't mind sometimes. Um, and he picked up this. Little Miss Sunshine and the three bears. And I just thought, well, how crazy is that? And I got it. So we've sat down on the sofa and had a little read through that. He has all the collection of the Little Mr. Men books in a box. But there's 10 of these, and they're a pound each. And you know what? If you bought all 10 of them for £10 and put them in a box, I think a parent would be really appreciative of that present. You know, not for birthdays and stuff, if you go to parties or nieces and nephews. Because books, you can never really have too many books when you've got children. So, And they are really, really cheap. And they were retailing at 5 99 originally, so that's really cheap. There's so many books and stuff in there. Um, this is going to be another boring part of my video. But if you like snacks, you know, you'll enjoy it. I went to Tesco's. Now, this isn't Panland. This is Tesco's. I weren't going to show Tesco's. I weren't going to show my groceries or anything like that. But I went in there and I was like, they have got some good deals here. So, I'm just going to share them with you. If you don't want to watch them, feel free. The Panland is over. Like and subscribe if you like the Panland area. If you want to watch Tesco's, stay on. Well, it just went right in then. Stay on. I love these naked noodles. I don't usually buy them because they're about £1.50, one pot, and I think that's quite dear for just one lunch for me, or as a snack, but they've gone down 60p, I don't mind paying that, they're half price, well if that's half price it's actually they're one twenty each, you know, bad maths there, but Naked Noodle, they're curry, and they are only, mm, for the whole pot, oh my god, I was like, well, they ain't as diet as I thought, <laughs> I'm reading the killer jewels, 270 calories, not bad for a lunch, so I've got two of those. If you get packed lunches and stuff for your kids, these are really good deals into our Tesco's at the moment. They've got the eight pack, eight pack of kidney, £1.15, half price. That's really cheap. They've got the Barney Bears in there for a pound, the chocolate ones. And they've got Tom Bears, pack of six in there for 90p. 90p, and all their big boxes of cereal, they're... I don't even know whether that says how many grams or whatever that is. Oh, well, I don't know, but it's their big box of cereals. And they're £2. £2 at the moment. So good. And they've got Robinsons in there. And they're half price as well. They're one pound fifteen. they say. Half price. I don't know if that's cheap as everywhere else, but that is cheaper than most places at the moment while they're on offer. So, obviously, if you stock up for kids' pack lunches or you're going on a picnic or anything like that, and you like to have snacks in the house... I would def definitely go to Tesco's because they've got some really good deals in the minute. I don't like this video too long. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I haven't rambled on ridiculously because I'm just really, really hot and bothered and I've been into town today and it's a nightmare to park so I'm just a bit up today. And my son's off so he's been getting a bit bored. He's like, I don't want to go in this shop. I want to get a gingerbread from Greg's. I was like, well, no, because you've just had a donut from McDonald's and you can't have that much sugar. So I've just been arguing with a four-year-old basically why he can't have a donut and a gingerbread man. And I'm just like, ah. Oh. So I'm glad I've had a little chat with you guys. I feel a little bit less stressed now. I'm going to go and have a little drink now and finish my little white chocolate bar. <laughs> I'll be excited about that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
And if you want to subscribe, please subscribe and leave a comment if you want to as well because the comments are just so lovely and I'm really enjoying, you know, getting the comments and stuff and reading through. I'm getting a big head, like I said, but it's, it's so nice. It really, really means a lot that you're doing it. And um, I will be doing a teacher's gift one. I will be doing that. I, I will. I'm definitely going to do it. And a lot of people have been asking for a home tour. That's definitely on the cards. I'm just being a bit lazy at the moment <laughs> and things are not as organised as I would want them to be, showing all of you lovely people into my home. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm just not ready for that because when you look around, like it might look tidy here, but if you actually look around, like, there's Lego on the floor in the playroom and there's like two clothes outside in the hallway full of like wet washing where, and you know, it's a mum thing, but I want that to sort of be perfect when I do a home tour. So if I can get my bum in gear, that'll be happening next week. Hopefully. I won't promise nothing because there's a good chance I might not do it. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a lovely rest of your week. Take care. Bye.